It's Monday. It is Monday morning, bright. And, well, it's not bright and early anymore. It's dark like, and gloomy. No way. <laughs> <laughs> dark and happy. There it is. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay, good. So, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. I got to spend it with you. All right, tell them. I'm going to see if I can share this to our page. Oh, okay. Uh, so, what did we do over the weekend? Hmm. Well, we. You uh, mowed the lawn. I mowed the lawn on Saturday, and, and you dug out the garden. Sad, our our vegetable garden. It was time to um, turn everything over and get ready for next season. Although we still have peas and Robin did plant, plant kale, so we're hopeful that the kale will come up as well. We were told by a farmer friend of ours that you can now still plant kale and you'll get kale. So we're hopeful. Um, so we'll, we're down to peas and kale. Everything else was was um, harvested, and then all the plants were turned over and the soil was turned over. Hopefully, and my hand hurts from using the little clippers thing. Exactly. And hopefully I, had, I mowed the grass for the last time this year, but we will see. Uh, the way this weather's been, it's a little crazy. I think the leaves are going to drop off the trees and start blooming all over again. So we will see. All right. I think I figured it out. All right. So I think, in theory, it's been posted to the page as well as here on my, my personal page. Right. So Yay, me. <laughs> one of the things we are trying to do is, is convert this over to the page that we created for r and &R Journey. Uh, I guess just to make it easier for everybody yeah, to find it. Yeah, I don't know what that will look like exactly. Right. Howard, hi. Hey, hi, Mark. Howard. Morning. It's good to see uh, you. And so, Mark. Um, yesterday, you, might, you guys may have seen my post. We went to a wine tasting with some friends. We did. And on the way home, the DPS just happened to take us past our favorite place to get waffles and pancakes. Right. And we haven't had waffles and pancakes. In nine months? I don't know if it's been that long, but I I, all we, summer for sure. I don't think we've gone since we went on the plant-based diet. How no, long has that been? that's only been since June. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It seems totally. a lot longer than that, folks. <laughs> so we stopped and had for dinner last night. Um, Russ had pancakes and I had a waffle. Right. And guess what? That's not. It's not plant-based. No, it's not plant-based at all. It's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. and, and plus, you put syrup on it. So yeah, it's. Uh, but it was yummy. Yeah. Although last night, because I had coffee yesterday morning and then I had sugar basically for dinner, I could not sleep. My body was definitely uh, revved up. Yeah, I slept Russ, however, good. slept just fine. <laughs> That's why I don't get like a little, why are you sleeping <laughs> in the middle of the night? Sometimes I have to be like, roll away from me, you're noisy. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you do for your workout this morning? Uh, today was back. Um, not super high energy, but I did do everything and I got through pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't complain. I also did some calves, and I also did my 10-minute blitz cardio. And I saw you did some low back today. How did, did that go? Yeah, you know, as I told you over the weekend, so my lower back's been tweaky, I guess is the right word. You know, you get out of bed in the morning, it doesn't quite want to be okay, and then as the day goes on, it gets better. So I am attributing that to I need some more lower back strength. So I started adding um, hyperextensions are what they're called, and it's basically when you put the bar over the back, of your, like if you were squatting, and then just bend forward and bend back. So Which I, scares me when he does that. Right, I worry, but right. he, well, it seems to work for him. Right, so I started doing those today, and that'll probably be added to my routine, and we'll see if I can strengthen up my back. Well, that'll be good. Yeah. I did arms today. See, guns. Look at those guns. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pumped right now. They don't usually look quite that aggressive. <laughs> um, but I, so I did a little tiny bit of shoulders, and then I did um, biceps and triceps. And then I was done probably about 20 minutes before Russ was. Mm -hmm. So I got on the AMT, which I've mentioned before is a cross between a stair stepper and an elliptical. And I did um, one minute intervals. So I did one minute kind of just slow. And then I had one minute really, really hard. Mm -hmm. um, and I did that for till you came and like got 20 me. minutes, no? I, I don't know if it was quite that long, but yes. it was it was close. Yeah. So that was that was my workout today, a little bit of that. I noticed the gym was a little quiet when we got there. By the time we were finishing up, it got pretty quiet. It got crowded. busy, yeah. 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 So we wanted to talk um, a little bit, because today's a fasting day for us, which is why we have no breakfast. Russ right. has his coffee. Coffee is the meal of the day today. Um, but so we wanted to talk about fasting. If you guys are, um, have you liked the R&R &R Journey page, over the weekend I posted an article about from Harvard about fasting and longevity. And there, there's a lot of science that not pseudoscience, like real science about fasting and, and longevity and how it, it really helps and it's it's really good for you. And the, the article is, is a little bit academically dense. It's talking about mitochondria and what it does and that kind of thing. But I posted it because I wanted you guys to to see that there is background for this for the fasting that we do. It's not just 
you know, because we do it for fun. Right. And remember, we are we do intermittent fasting, so we don't go a whole day without eating. Um, for instance, today, the last meal we ate, I guess, was about 7 o'clock last night. Probably. And we'll probably eat again about 6 o'clock tonight. And we'll come back and we'll show you guys um, what we're going to, you know, eat for our fasting right. meal. It'll be roughly 500 calories, right. give or take. We don't, we aren't really stringent about that so No, much. yeah, yeah. I don't think we are as strict as please. I don't think we need to be any stricter than we are, honestly. I don't think so. so. I mean, our, our blood work came back really good and, right. and our weight, our weight is really good. And, uh -huh. and I told, I mentioned that I'm really happy where my weight is, so I want it to start to plateau. I don't want to continue losing weight. So I think for me, that's something that we need, right. we need to pay attention to. I think you said the same. Exactly. Um, did you want to talk about the uh, pseudoscience? And yeah. So, um, as you know, we went to a wine tasting yesterday, so that, usually involves wine <laughs> um, and it did involve wine um, and so it got us to thinking and we also had watched the documentary on Saturday I don't remember what day it uh, that was. We I posted that too that's in on, the group. on our journey or in the on the page right and what's interesting about that and by the way folks uh, if you have the time and you're so inclined please like the on our journey page we'd like to know that people are involved and, and yep and share our videos share our videos have send us comments send us questions if you are doing something or heard about something and you'd like to find out um, through us what we think about it and so we don't just sit there and say well you know this is what we think we will actually look into it we will do the research and uh, and then give you our opinions <laughs> so so we were talking about alcohol you got distracted yes, I, got distracted. Rabbit trailed I do that folks I go off on tangents um, however uh, the, the, the pseudoscience that um, the myth that if you drink a little alcohol after a meal, it helps your stomach. It helps, it helps you digest. digest food. And I'll let you go ahead and... So what we learned, and, and, and I posted it so you guys can watch it as well if you're interested, is that if, you, if they've, they've studied it and it makes you feel better when you eat a little bit of, or have a little bit of alcohol when you eat, but that's because it re relaxes your stomach muscle. Yeah. And it actually slows digestion. It doesn't help digestion. Right. So... What, what the um, actual science shows is what I've mentioned before, alcohol is poison, right. and there's no safe amount of poison. Right. Now, can your body overcome it if you have a couple of glasses of wine? Yeah, it can. Mm -hmm. Is it the healthiest thing on the planet? No, it's not. The healthiest <clears throat> thing is to be a teetotaler. Now, we are not, and you guys know that. That's you right. know that we'll go out and we'll have you know a cocktail together, or we went out wine tasting. and right. So I'm not saying thou shalt be a teetotaler because I'm not so I can't very well say that to you I am saying that the science more and more is showing that that is the healthier option if your goal is to be strictly looking at things as far as right. whether it's healthy or not right and then I don't know I want to just add that you need you need to have both physical health and mental health and if once in a while having a drink or you know having a glass of wine with dinner or whatever it is or not with dinner <laughs> whatever your option is um, and if it, it makes you happy then I'm not one here. I'm not sitting here saying don't to do judge it. it. No, that's not. And, and we've talked about before about being careful about saying well all things in moderation because then you have to define what is moderation, right. and that is something that is a very slippery slope right. because most people assume that moderation is what they do regardless of how much that is, whether they're drinking four <laughs> drinks a night or they're drinking one drink a month. They feel like that's moderation. So. I'm not going to use that term because I don't like it. I don't feel like it create it provides any real data, but I do feel like you need to know what you're doing to your body. Like we last night when we had pancakes with and waffles with sugar, we knew we were bombarding we actually, our bodies with sugar. Yeah, we actually said to each other, "So we're having sugar for dinner." Sugar that's, for dinner. Then. That's what we're having because you can't have pancakes without syrup. I mean, that's it just, just doesn't. That's happen. blasphemy. So. so it's it's more about what we're we're trying to I guess encourage is is that you know what you're doing and that you understand the impact on your body of the choices that you're making. Mm -hmm. And as long as you know that and you're making educated, intelligent choices, then you know your body, your choice, do what's right for you. Um, our goal is to kind of help with the education piece of it. Right. As far as you know, fasting is alcohol, healthy foods, not healthy foods. Right. And what I'd, what I'd add to that is if you Sean's are, here this morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Sean. Follow him for. Uh, <laughs> um, what I would also say Ooh, that. Oh, he's if, eating red grapes. That sounds yummy. Nice. Go ahead. I interrupted nice. you. I'm sorry. Um, if, if you are saying to yourself, I wonder if this is too much of anything that you're doing, 
then the fact that you're asking yourself that question probably means that it is because we tend to say that to ourselves when we're feeling guilty about something if we're feeling guilty about something because we're overdoing something look so, Howard asked about supplements we were talking about whether we should talk about we were going to actually not. talk